Uh, we're looking at the scariest shears of all, like Halloween. This is a presentation I did at the International Beauty Sharpeners Association. The audio is not great, but I think the information's good enough that you might want to watch it. Are we ready for the scariest shear of them all? Right. Drum roll. This is the last one. <sighs> oh, oh, yeah. Yes. How many of y'all seen those? I have not. I had to order one off Amazon in order to show it and pra play with it in practice. But a curved thinning shear. I mean, what are they thinking? Oh, yeah. That's just, so far, the hairstylists haven't found that shear. I'm hoping they never do. Yeah. But I've just seen them with the groomers. Yeah, I mean, it's, 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 some of these things you just have to, it may look scary, but just break it down. I mean, because you think, obviously, somebody can sharpen these. Same thing with, like, weird fiddle screws. You come across something new, just say, okay, there's got to be, calm down. There's got to be some way to do this. So you're going to sharpen the one blade, just like the other ones, and ignore the teeth. Uh, the one blade, fortunately, is curved the easier way to sharpen. <laughs> And um, if the, and any of these curved shears, this one included, if they're after you sharpen them and they're not, they're out of alignment. Obviously, you can't put them on alignment bar. You just have to tweak them a little bit. And usually, you're going to take this inside blade, typically, and kind of straighten it out so it touches the tip. I, I just, I, I just, I, you know, there, there's Catholics and, and Protestants. Uh, there's benders and hammers, you know. <laughs> I'm of a, I'm a the bender denomination. Oh, I just put it in the block and just bend it. Usually I straighten this blade. This inside blade, I make it st more straight or less curved. And that usually fixes it. But you just have to bend it, check it, bend it, check it, bend it, check it. And what they told me is I said I, I had the, not only have I trained in Germany, um, at the Jaguar factory. By the way, Jaguar is the biggest producer of beauty shears in the world. I know they're not big here in the United States. But I trained there, but then years ago, I had the uh, chance to train in the factory with Casper Kaiser, Iker. And he always said, you bend the one blade. And just kind of hold it up to the light and kind of pretend like the top blade is your alignment bar. And the bottom blade is the one that you're trying to align it to the, the top blade and just you know, bend it, look at it in the light, open and close it, bend it, open and close it. And you'll feel, you'll feel that drag. But because they're bent in the factory, you run very little risk of breaking. Has anybody in here ever bent or broken a curve shear? I think it would be hard to even hammer them because of the way they are. But anything, you know, you come across that's too weird, just feel comfortable walking away from it. It might be like me with those little hook tooth um, thinning shears, and I walked away from it, you know, one year, and two years later, I was like, oh, this is no big deal. So you grow along with this. Okay, this last picture is one of my favorite pictures. That's my granddaughter. She's, um, this one is not the one that did the um, curve adapter. This is the next, uh, this is Autumn. And our Audi shears is named for Autumn. And I try to name things after his family, but she's uh, 13 years old now. But she was um, look at her going to nursery school as a hairstyle, didn't she? <laughs> but if you call the office, you may hear kids in the background. Uh, we're a family business. If you call us and we're not there, it may be crew who's the youngest one who's five might be having some kind of promotion, you know, in a play at school, and we've all taken off that day to go see another play. Um, we've always put family over lunch, so it's, um, and also people that have our equipment or buy from us or have our shears, we consider you part of our family too. So we, you know, if you need to send us prayer requests, <laughs> if you, you know, we, we'll give you some love. So if y'all have any questions for me, I thought I did a better presentation today than yesterday, right? Yesterday I was tired, and I was kind of wired. Probably both days. Oh, thank you, thank you.